day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. I have a question for you. Huh? I have a question for you. Um, after after I read this last uh, uh, verse, after Jesus said, "You are of your father, the devil," uh -huh. they answered and said unto him, "Abraham is our father." Mm. Jesus said unto them, "If you were Abraham's children, you would do the work of Abraham." Uh-huh. <laughs> and my question is, obviously, what are the works of Abraham? What were Abraham's works that they weren't doing? He wasn't doing what God tell Abraham did what God told him to do. Abraham moved when God told him to move. Therefore, if you're going to be Abraham's children, you should do what Abraham did. Right? Yeah. Abraham was the father of faith, isn't he? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So he's but saying he that was, he was the father of faith because he believed. Yes. He believed. And yeah. and that that is the, the thing. He believed God was God. He yes, believed sir. God's word when God spoke to him. Yeah. So obviously they weren't listening to God while God was speaking to him. No. Nope. In the nope. very moment that they were having a conversation. Right. And it goes right down to us. Yes. God is still speaking to us. Exactly. Are we saying to God, we are children of Abraham? <laughs> we no. <laughs> hey, look, you know the Galatians three, right? Remember Galatians three that said uh when he was talking about Abraham's seed, when he was talking about tell, tell Abraham that seed. He said, remember that one that said, it wasn't talking about seeds of many, but seeds yeah. of one, which is what? Christ, right? right? And then that last part of that chapter three, that if you be in Christ, then you are Abraham. But that's, isn't that what it says? Abraham's seed and heir. What was that saying? What that, what, let's go to that one real quick. Because that is a, that is a scriptural one. Let's see, Galatians. One second. I don't know. Did that come off the script? I'm still uh, showing. I'm not showing anymore, right? No. Okay, I'm gonna show in a minute. I'm gonna get to it. I'm going to. I'm going to Galatians three, and I'm going to the last few verses of that chapter. And let me come off here. Let me get back to you. Okay. Yeah, it's it's singular. It's up, but I'm not sharing, right? I'm not sharing. Three twenty nine. No. Okay, let me get back to this scripture. I'm going to slide up, then I'm going to bring up the other one. Let's see here. Where are you? I can't do it. I, my power is off, so I can't see. I don't have two computers with me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so it blocks the screen up. One second. Well, you read, you got, you say you have it, right? You yeah, have it. I'll, I'll start at Galatians, Galatians 3.2. And read down to 329. But the scripture has concluded all under sin. Mm -hmm. That the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut yes. up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Yes. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by faith. Come on, brother. But that faith is come. Yes. We are no longer under a schoolmaster, which is the law. For ye are all the children of God by faith mm. in Jesus Christ. Yes. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Come on. There is neither Jew nor Greek. Woo. Neither bond nor free. Come on. There is neither male nor female. Come on. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you be Christ, 
yes. or of oh, Christ, or of Christ, then are ye Abraham's Come on. seed. Yes. And heirs according to the promise. Come on now. <laughs> See, that, 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 that lines up with the scripture that was asking. He said, Jesus said he didn't correct them when they said it was Abraham's seed. Yeah. He just said and say, if you was Abraham's seed, then you would have done what Abraham did. Yeah. But you seek to kill me. <laughs> Woo! Abraham was very discerning about what God had done. He was yeah. very discerning, you know? He, he, he heard God. He heard God, man. I mean, and he spoke to God. No different than Jesus heard God and spoke to God. But there was a big difference between the two. Jesus was with God. Yes, Before, sir. During and after creation. Come on. Come on. <laughs> also was in communion with God. Yes. And was God. Come on, brother. So <laughs> <laughs> that way, that way said, you don't see if you you ever have seen you wouldn't be seeking to kill me. I mean that, yeah. that started off. That was a whole conversation. You're not doing what God tells you to do. And I'm saying this when people look at us, that's the whole thing they're looking at is. If if you if you're Christ, if you're in Christ, then you should be doing what Christ would do. Yeah. Woo! But if so, you sit there getting drawn in all these, you know, I'm talking about this world and stuff, this politics, and I'm talking about the fact is that if you draw in the politics but operating in the world's way instead of Christ's way, you're missing the boat. Yeah, yeah. Pol politics has its place in this world system. Yeah. It really does. It's just that we have a place in it too as to how we respond. But we are ambassadors. Yes. And ambassadors have a place in the world system. In, yes. As in ambassadors. Yeah, as ambassadors. What ambassadors do is they push the agendas of their country. Which our country is the kingdom of heaven. Exactly. And we have privilege that normal citizens do not have. Right. And how we push, though, is the key, right? Is that the yes. point? I don't, I don't, you know, I, I don't know if you've seen some of my last thing I was talking about saying is the six things that God hates. Yea, you and I did it. We read it before. Yeah. Six things that God hates, yea, seven abominations unto him. If we use, if we become ambassador, here's the point. If you become an ambassador to Christ, which you are, but you use the tools that God hates, then you're no longer representing the kingdom. Yeah. You're representing something else. You're representing what he hates. And you're going to have to answer to it. If you, yeah. if you buy the lies, then, then you know you can't be, God, look, you're going to be recalled. <laughs> Yeah, and, and you know, and these are some of the reasons why we're seeing some of the results that are manifesting because they are bad representations yes, sir. of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know, uh, you can't represent a kingdom. You can't. Come on, brother. By pushing your own agenda. Right. And that's you what Christ was saying in that story, wasn't it? Yeah, you, 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 to press your agenda for a kingdom that you're not the king of <laughs> is to be anti-Christ, which yes. is the devil, Woo! which is the father of Come that on. very scenario. Exactly. Pushing his own personal agenda yes. while being subversive to a king Woo. and a king. He wasn't designed for it. He wasn't put in a position to do it, but yet he did. And there was those that accepted it. And so the result of it was, okay, well, here's your kingdom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Locked in time. Yes, you sir. Are now Locked in time yes. to control your kingdom the way you wish. Yes. yes. You can overthrow this form of God. Yeah. Yeah. 
He said, he said, I'm going to put my kingdom. And, and it may not say this in the scriptures, but I truly believe this was the way it is. The way that's what it's because I think if you go by these scriptures we just said, he said, You seek to kill me. Yeah. And you, Abraham, see, that does not line up with Abraham, see. Yeah. That's what he's trying to say. You do the will of my father, then you are operating in the kingdom. But when you do the will of this world or the God of this world's will, you're not operating, you're not representing Christ. And I'm just saying is every move that you do is a witness. I like even your, for those who listen to this video or will listen to it, this, that your testimony of helping that man was representing as an ambassador for Christ. Yeah. If you told that man, man, be, be, what's that, what's that, what's that script in James, right? The hungry, the person hungry, and they say, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> be filled or something. And, and, and go about your way he said you missed it yeah. you missed it now i want to still want to finish we'll wrap it up but i want to i want to make sure we get these words in because check this out let's go to the next slide <laughs> Woo! watch this go ahead go ahead so, but now you seem to kill me <laughs> hey man, before you go any further that, hey look brother addison before you go any further he's trying to tell you you really contradicting yourself yeah. because you seek to kill me. That's what he said. Go ahead. <laughs> and, and this, I mean, if nothing points back to uh, Thessalonians, he gives up. Right. A man that has told you the truth to make you free. Yes. Which I have heard of God. Uh -huh. Come on. Come on. This did not Abraham. Come on now. <laughs> you do the deeds of your father. Woo. Then said they to him, we be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Uh -huh. Said unto them, if God were your father, Come on. you would love me. Hey! <laughs> For I proceeded forth and came from God. Yes. Neither came I of myself. Come on. But he me. Come on, come on. Why do you not understand <laughs> my speech? <laughs> Even because you cannot hear my word. See, and I want people to know that that's why sometimes don't, that's when the Thessalonians come out again, is that they perceive that the words coming out of your mouth is not of God, but of man. Yeah. But if, when they do recognize it's of God, then they should respond based on that. But mm -hmm. like he said, man, you can't hear my, you can't understand my speech. And some mm -hmm. of the people even listen to this video, and some of the people that you minister to, every like I'm talking about everybody that's on here that, that minister the word of God, we need to recognize some people can't even understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Because they can't hear. What is that? Because you cannot hear my word. Why do you not understand my speech? Why you have received Jesus Christ, your personal Lord and Savior? Why you can't sit there and do the miracles and things God has? Because you're not hearing. You're not hearing the word of God. And until you recognize, and that's why it's so important for us, right? Is to stop trying to give our opinion. Tell, I like, hey, Tell people it is written. The scripture said, it, instead of getting, get off your opinion because it doesn't mean anything. It has no value to it. It has no power to it. But many people want to, they, they want to draw people in based on not the word of God's way, but man's way. And that's where we get in problems. That's where we get this hate and turn up stuff because we're not doing this his way. But that I just want to put that in there. Let's see what the next scripture says. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Okay. You were of your father the devil. <laughs> the rest of your father. You will do. <laughs> he has a murderer from the he, he was a murderer from the beginning. Yes. And so not in the truth. Yes. Because there is no truth in him. No truth. No truth. 
when he speaks, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. Yes. And he is a liar and the father of it. Come on, brother. But because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. No. Which of you convinces me of sin? Uh-huh. And if I say that, if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? <laughs> he that is of God heareth God's word. Yes. We therefore hear them not because we are not of God. That's powerful. That's deep right there. That's powerful, brother. That's deep right there. That, 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 that. Hey, hey, you, I understand now where you come. I understand why you're acting the way you are. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, mm. I understand. I understand you got issue because you're not of God. You're not of God and you have to. And then look, I think it's for us, he kind of got it also trying to tell us in these scriptures. Be patient with people because if they're not of God, they're not hearing the word. Yeah. And the only thing you want to do is keep planting. What's that? What's that one scripture? One man plants, one man waters, but God is the one that gives the increase. Gives the increase. So don't be dismayed because somebody is not of you know what I mean? Should you be offended because you're not if somebody said that they're not of God or you recognize they're not of God? Don't get offended by it, right? You just yeah. keep ministering the word. That's your that's your job. Not to get offended. You already recognize and you should just say it in your spirit, not in your, you know, not to the person. <laughs> well, maybe it's <laughs> maybe you, if Christ did, I guess you could. <laughs> well, I guess you could sometimes say you're not of God, man. You're not of God. Or hey, my dad it, could could a person say, we got we have one last slide, but I, I'll come off a second. Is it is it possible to sit there and say with the way Jesus because Jesus confronted? This is an example, isn't it? Of religiousness, right? This is religious. And 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 of religious people. Where he would sit there and say, if you be of Christ, then you would do what Christ did you would